here. I'm not gonna tell you twice. Or maybe I am. Let us out of here! Nobody gets out until your hog expels our stone. Come on, dude. Make it rain. It's not a hog, it's a Petrani. And if you take the stone, the mutants will come after you. They won't understand. They're just a bunch of thieves. I am not a thief! And you want me to leave you the stone because you're a mutant too! He's not a mutant, you bonehead! He's my father, Dr. White. Wigmund White? The eminent biophysic chemiastro geoanthropo nanomolecular technologist? And baritone. Huh? Figaro! Hey, how did you get out? <laughs> With a password. This is my laboratory. Get back in there and don't come out! Ready, Pagliaccio! Sheriff, let's hear what he has to say. The man is a genius. <laughs> Besides, the pig could be a long time. <laughs> He just got to the opinion section. Okay, sing. Figaro! No, I mean, give me an explanation. What is the stone, and why do the mutants want it? Ah. After the pig fart, my children and I formed an anti-mutant fighting force. We studied the things to find their weak point. One day, my radar picked up a strange mineral, and we brought it back to the laboratory. We discovered it was a substance known as morphinite, and that it reacted when mixed with vegetables. Vegetables? Exactly. The correct combination of vegetables exposed to morphinite radiation can create the antidote to mutation. There's an antidote? Yes, although unfortunately the mutants destroyed all our vegetables, and this is our last dose. <laughs> You mean the mutants are humans that have been transformed? Only some of them. The so-called Colossuses, like the thing I was up until a couple of minutes ago. The rest of the mutants are made of gunk. Gunk? Like earwax? Or snot? Or eye boogers? Or the dead skin you get between your toes. Or the stains in your boxers when you do a... Hey, what are you doing out here again? Back inside, back inside, back inside! La donna mobile! Walpium al vento! <clears throat> Please, continue. Things got ugly when the morphinite started to attract the mutants. They overwhelmed us, infected me, and took the stone. I managed to escape with BP. We saw a herd of fetid gas trying to take the stone to the right cheek, and we decided to go after them. But before we could get it back, you, Sheriff, got in ahead of us. And that's how we met. <laughs> Guys, it's on its way. And then you manipulated us so that we'd rescue your father. Yes, at first. But when we fought alongside you, we saw we made a good team. So we have a proposal for you. Join us and help us take back the world. We got it! I haven't washed it yet. Whatever. We're out of here. Did you hear what I said? If you stay, you can rescue thousands from a fate far worse than death. And if you go, the mutants will destroy you. <laughs> Sooner or later, the mutants are gonna get all of us. Better just enjoy yourselves while you can. I was wrong. You're nothing more than an obnoxious, cowardly thief. I bet you stole that sheriff star, too. Ignore her. Of course we're thieves, and having principles is against our principles. I'm not gonna let you walk away with the planet's last hope. Oh, and what are you gonna do? Manipulate someone into stopping me? It'd be the first thing you've done yourself since we met. You selfish, thieving, video game obsessed nerd! I'm gonna disintegrate you and it's gonna be the This isn't going to day. end well. Hey, what's that green your stuff in your hair? Be. A do you booger? Think you're some kind do you have a cyborg? nose on your forehead? Your you're pathetic. Hey guys, do you wanna know what's my real name? Jim Rubick. Sheriff is what my brother used to call me. He gave me the star. It was before the big fart, before everything went wrong, before he died when the mutants attacked. Yes, up until now, I've been a thief, but the time has come to do the right thing, because that's what my brother taught me, because that's what a sheriff has to do. You can count on me. And me. And 
us, Sheriff Sam. Huh? Ah, I thought you were dead. Again, you are our master. We will appear mysteriously whenever you need us. Is the touch a handy thing obligatory? <sighs> okay. But when we're done with all this, I'm keeping the stone. All yours. This machine will prevent the mutants from finding the Morphinite. And that way we can carry on studying it. Hey, Sheriff, what happened to your arm while we were fighting? Ah, uh, I got a cramp. I, I forgot to stretch before the shootout. So in that case, the plan is to roam a post-apocalyptic planet looking for vegetables and blasting mutants in the process? Exactly. How does that sound? Sounds perfect. Follow me. I got some bits and pieces that could come in handy. Don't waste your time. It's obvious she's crazy about me. Colossus, find more for night. What that? Colossus, lose signal. Try turning off and turning on again. Oh no. Cyclone, Goo, Horrorcorn! Have you found the Morphinite? Oh great, what? Colossus lose trail! Humans hide, Morphinite! Incompetent fools! Now they only need vegetables to make the antidote! Summon your troops! I want you to cross the frontier and find the vegetables before they do! Yes, Master Watt! Most excellent and supremely attractive wart. Aren't we going after the Morphinite? Of course, Cavity. First we take the vegetables, and then the Morphinite, and finally, the Earth! Holy moly. You can use a mutant pass to check the maps on the radar, and I fitted intercoms in your mask. Guys, this is kind of lame. Why don't we do this in style? The time has come for the Vegetable Squad. Sorry, it's just a group already had a name. We printed up cards and everything. Ah, uh, yeah, that's way cooler. Prepare yourselves, mutants. The time has come for La Resistance. Dr. Wigman White. User attributes. Accuracy, 2. Strength, 2. Intelligence, 4. Energy, 3. Nesundoma! Oh, uh, excuse me. La Resistance Log. Dr. Wigman White speaking. Ready to reveal all the secrets of this place. The headquarters of La Resistance. La Resistance Headquarters. The headquarters were built by my children, Vegan Sue and BP, and myself in an abandoned high school. It's one of the upsides of the apocalypse. It's pretty easy to find an abandoned building. Base attributes, fortifications, three. Weapons, two. Scientific equipment, one. Location, two. There are various different areas. Inside, we find the lab. That's where we conduct most of our experiments. Although the most dangerous ones are shooters cooking experiments in the kitchen. This is where we also keep the morphinite so the mutants don't find it. Those creeps like sparkly stones more than your average rapper. Outside the building and surrounded by a wall, there's a yard which has a few leftovers from the days when it was a high school. The soccer field, the basketball court, and battles with high explosives. Apparently they had some discipline issues. The garden where we grow vegetables to make the antidote is also outside. A little gardening tip for you. If you have a vegetable patch, never let a herd of demented monsters stampede through it. 
The plants don't like it. Finally, in the yard, we set up a battery of anti-mutant weaponry. We have booby traps, a rock launching ramp, missile launcher, a ship armed with a disintegrating cannon, quicksand, and regular sand. The missile launchers fire explosive projectiles. BP loves them. The mutants, not so much. What does a disintegrating cannon do? Well, there's a clue in the name. These are the main areas in the headquarters. We also have a bathroom and a small closet to store the mobs, but they're not so important. From now on, if a three-eyed monster is bothering you, or you happen to have a vegetable that could help save humanity, you know where to find us. Excuse me.